Okay, this should be my last video for a while. I had to reformat my videos. People using PCs didn't like the black bars. I wasn't aware how many of my viewers were using PCs. So that was a mistake. I've uh, went a long ways to reshaping my channel with help from a client. And so I'm gonna do what I feel is better instruction. With my last full screen video on another area, the trigger assembly and the valve assembly there was a small o-ring in there i have yet to have to change that i have four of these now and i have yet to have to change that but people do and eventually i'll have to change that little o-ring in there but on that one video it was just trigger and that one o-ring and that's a better way to teach this now we're going to do a clean sweep on basically the chamber seal and two other o-rings a clean sweep and now there's going to be a couple times where you do that we're assuming this is your gun you haven't used in a while or it's out of the box and you're having problems it doesn't mean you get mad and take it back we just fix it now there's a Danco kit. If you loaded the pellet and you oiled it and you try pumping and it's just hissing real badly, it's not retaining air at all, it's just obviously not right, then you just gotta change the O-rings, number 11. Number 11 O-rings, two of them, that's it. Now there's a chamber seal on there. Now, if a problem you're having is that it's fighting you, meaning that it's just not normal pump pressure, it's like flying back into your hand and literally smacking in your hand and getting away from you, that means your chamber seal is not working well. So there's many ways you can do it. I just had a video come out. It's pretty controversial because I just had some guys that just put, put the dare to me. Can I like this seal kit here, these O-ring kits? Can I teach people how to fix their 880 without any mail order? No internet, no mail order. In this age, I know it sounds weird, but no internet, no mail order. And so I came up with a novel way to do that. Now, Daisy, the Southern Bells, the parts department do a great job. They have some great videos out there, some good help videos. And so if you're going to go to Daisy, make it worth, worth your time. We're going to get through, the, through that and to that. So yes, ordering from Daisy is great, but I'm going to make it clear in this video, especially for the parts you'll really need, really, really need, because we can get the O-rings from the store. And uh, Daisy Southern Bells don't mind if you get your own O-rings. They have plenty of work to do. They don't need to fill the order for that. So I'm going to tell you which if you when you place an order through Daisy, make it worth your time. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start. We're going to follow the usual drill. We're going to go ahead and pull the bolt back there and just lift that up, put it aside, drop the bottom off, open up the pump, pull the stock off, the usual drill. Remember the retaining pin right there comes out. So that comes out. And we use your pump, pump it up one time. You see, you open up your pump and we get this thing out of there. There we go. Now I did want to make some points here that I just bought it in an earlier shoot attempt is that when I was making it, these pins in the barrel, uh, that is the trigger assembly, came loose and were jamming in the frame and I couldn't get it apart. So when you're trying to take your gun apart, check these pins. If, if they jam in the holes in your frame right here, right there and right there you won't be able to get it apart you just take a, a tool like a screwdriver or something like that and put it back in all right so now let's go ahead and take off your pump tube it can be a little stiff so not a big deal just take take it off okay so we have your chamber seal and you have your o-ring now one thing i want to go over real quick is that these are two different tools i've showed this one on my other videos is a pick it does work it is rated for removing fuses and for removing O-rings, but you don't use this, go anywhere near this to put new ones back on. You only use your fingers. But an, a veteran um, air gunner made it clear to me that this wouldn't be ideal, and he makes some good points. So I got a kit of this. It's not as cheap. This is three times as much, actually, as a set of four of these. But this this is not going to harm anything. Main thing, the big selling point on this, it won't harm your surface right here on your gun. Any type of metal, no, no scarring, nothing, no shreds of metal. So now, as far as your chamber seal goes, we only change that. We only get that guy out of there and change that if your pump is fighting you. Because we're going to assume this is a new gun or one that's been in hibernation for a while. So if it's just a matter of you put a pellet in, you follow that protocol, put a pellet in, you put some oil on it, and on it, especially if it's been hasn't been shot in a while and you're trying to wake it up, it's just not working. Okay, now... The main thing we're definitely going to have to do is change these O-rings. So there is two protocols. If your pump is not fighting you at all, then this is good. We'll just leave that alone, and we just change your O-ring. So this tool is neat because you can just get under there, and it's really neat because it doesn't harm the surface at all. Well, here, let me get in this. See, let's turn this up. It doesn't, hurt, doesn't harm the surface at all, and gets nicely cleanly under there. You can just peel it off. 
and then you get a number 11 out of your Danco kit. So we get that out of there, number 11, put it on, and use only your fingers. You don't really need to use that tool to put it on. That's good for removal and doesn't damage the surface. Now, so that's the first scenario. You just change the O-rings out. We're going to change the other one regardless. But if there is a problem with this thing fighting you and your pump's flying back in your hand and all that, you change all three. Keep it simple. If you have a brand new gun and this isn't working right, or if it's been out of action for a long time and it's not working right, change all three. These O-rings are very affordable. They're very cheap. Change these three. Now, as far as getting these, you can get, I would say, get eight of these from Daisy. Order them and order like four valve assemblies that go inside here that's that little guy right there and you'll be in for about 20 bucks now i dare anybody to go on ebay or amazon and see what the third parties are selling them for and i, I you'll be shocked and, and tally up the price what eight of these and four valve assemblies that go in here i'm showing those in my other videos how much that would be that's only 20 bucks from daisy that's all in with with shipping so that's what i advise you to do there so anyway, so we went over the two scenarios. We're going to say on this scenario that uh, the pump hand, the pump handle was fighting you and it's flying forward. So we went out and changed the, the seal. Now, there's a couple different ways you can get it. You get it from Daisy, from the Southern Bells in the parts department, or I have another video and another way to do it that's uh, had people want to know how they can totally fix their gun, like, I'm going to put this back together, like the O-ring repair that doesn't require you to go through anybody doesn't require you to do any mail order and so i have another video so you can totally repair your gun with no mail order but the southern bells do a good job all i'm saying is if you go through them make it worth it you don't need to bother them for o-rings and they're plenty busy they don't need you to bother them for that order eight chamber seals and four valve assemblies and you'll be only in 20 bucks and basically i'll just say you'll basically be set for the rest of your life you'll be set for many years okay so let's go ahead and put the pump tube back on and remember that slit faces this way Faces lines up with the barrel on the bottom. That lets air in there so you can pump it up. And make sure that it comes all the way to the back. A common mistake. People don't push this thing all the way back. Push it back. There we go. All the way back. You hear that little pop. Okay, so let's get this thing put back together now. And then we'll get to the pump head assembly to finish off. Okay, so we put this thing. There's a tunnel in there. And you want to make sure to get it in there. And then make sure to get in between these two pieces of sheet metal. Kind of spread them apart with your fingers. Get it in there. And open up your pump. Okay, now, I would say that this is a good time to go ahead and take off your pump pump handle. So what we're going to do, we just pop this thing out. Pop it out. Pop that. Pop this pin out right here. And, and then we're going to go ahead and remove your pump, your pump handle there. Now, sometimes it comes out easily, sometimes not as much, but it's uh, these are good pins. They're very high quality. I, re I really like them. So the main thing is when you're putting your pump tube back in, you want to have this thing ideally out of the way because if it's out of the way, it's going to be that much easier to deal with. So there we go. And so we're going to go ahead and pull that pump head out of there. Okay, a lot of pieces come flying. Your two wheels, your two wheels, your pin. Okay. So we're reestablishing this. So we're pushing it back in there. And there we go. And then watch your barrel, your shroud on top. You just want to make sure the holes are lined up here with the ones in the frame. The frame is here. This is your shroud. This is where the Daisy 35 and the Grizzly are better because it's one piece. But there, I got these holes lined up. And then we just, we need to put the pin back in here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just push, 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 push. There we go. Make sure you don't pop out your front sight. Make sure that doesn't pop out. Okay, so there is some tricky work. I really wish that Daisy would make this one piece like the Daisy 35 and Grizzly. That would be really cool. Okay, so let's put your pin back in. you got to have your retaining pin back in there. And there we go. It just went right in. It is sort of loose, so we might keep an eye on that when you're putting your receivers back on. And we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll put the stock back on. Put this side back on. There we go. And now see that pin popped up, so make sure you watch that. Make sure, or, or you could potentially damage this side, putting this side on. Okay, so, and then reestablish your breech. Put that bolt back in your breech. There you go. And you'll see that it all slips back together nicely. You see that? It's all evened up right there. 
and everything's reestablished. It looks good. Okay, so your pump head's out. So let's look at this. So you don't need to change out your wiper. I have one on the on basically the protocols of dealing with a used 880, and you want to get under here with the same tool and lift that wiper out of there because you don't know what they did to a used one. That has to go, but I have another separate video for that. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and assume, again, you're having problems right out of the box, right out of the box, or you haven't shot it in a while. And so that, that O-ring's got to go too. So if you see how I do that, that one's got to go too. So we get one out of your number 11, out of your Tanco kit, and we put that on there. There we go. And that's all we have to do there because we're leaving your wiper alone or not disassembly us. leave that pin alone my guns is made clear I, she doesn't want me telling anybody to take that apart you just you change this by pulling up on it change that by pulling up on it if you need to do that with the use a80 you just get under there and pull up on it so you can see there we go see but we don't need to do that here so leave it be we just need to change that right there so let's put it back together put your gun back together remember that Smooth side faces you, so remember that. See that right there? That faces you, it faces your pump. Something I didn't do on right on my first video it doesn't mean it's wrong, your gun's gonna break. It's just smoother pumping if you can see it like this. Smooth side facing your pump handle. Smooth side, all side and back. So it's like that, okay? So let's get it put back together and get your gun put back together. So anyway, so like I said, so the protocols are if you're having problems with your pump, this pump right here fighting you, as you're trying to put your gun back together, then you definitely, definitely just change all three. You change both O-rings and your chamber seal. And so then we put this back together and we just slide it back in there carefully. Careful not to jam it into your pump tube. There are sharp edges on your pump tube. You do not want to be jamming stuff onto that. So you can see that nice, nice shot right there. And so we just get it back on there. We get it into the pump tube. You see, I just reinserted it. So we just gently push it in there. Now the gun is cocked. Now the gun is cocked because you have to have this gun cocked. One thing I want to make sure, make sure that hammer's down when you're putting these receivers back on or it will not come back together. You can even break something. You got to make sure the hammer's down and watch that pin when you're putting on this side. So now we got to pull the trigger. Okay. Now, now it'll go in no problem. There we go. Okay. And then for as far as this hole right here, as far as that goes, there we go. You know, just kind of play with it. Take your time. It's you got to make sure that that pin goes in nicely. There we go. All right. And watch out for your shroud. Your shroud could potentially get in the way as you're putting this thing back together. So I just took my hand and pushed it back in. The shroud's the silver part. Nice thing about this, I can say silver and black because I, that's a custom paint job on that. Okay. And then we just put it back up like that, and you are done. So. That was the three seals. That's how you do it. I've actually had to do that on a, my main 880, which isn't this one. This is my custom one. You can see it's silver, silver trigger, silver shroud. Okay, now I just put back on the forearms and put the screws back in. So remember the hook right there? You see that hook? So it hooks in the shroud and make sure, there we go. I'll just show one side. Also, I've gotten some people kind of gripe at me a little bit because they want some help with the screws. Okay, so the fat screw goes obviously back here. I'm not going to screw it in, but I'll show you where they go. The really long screws go only plastic to plastic, and that goes just on top, like right here. And then your micro screws, these itty tiny, tiny ones, go in the receiver. So those go right there. And then the one that you have to make sure you don't want to confuse these long ones with these medium-sized ones. So these ones go in the stock right there. Okay, so there you go. So the medium ones go... The medium ones go here, your fast screws obviously, and then the real long ones only go plastic, plastic on top, and then your micro screws go right here. Go right, those little guys right here, they're so small you can barely see it. They go only in your, so super long ones on top, plastic, plastic, micro screws, screws right there, fat screws there, and medium sized screws, four of them in your stock right there. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions about that. Thank you.